Hi everybody, it's Tanya Reeves, Australia's Psychic Cowgirl, coming at you from Sunday Creek. I'm at home today, although I'm about to head away straight after my radio show. So yeah, a bit of a last minute, um, yeah, head away. So I'm lucky that I can do what I do on the road. So yeah, it doesn't matter where I am in the world, I can still do connect for my readers. So that's really great. So this week, um, who has felt, oh, we've had some really mixed energies this week and it's really funny chatting to friends throughout the week. It's been a little bit like, um, uh, almost uh, a little bit like feeling stuck, feeling a little bit like just not moving along at the, the pace that we were kind of used to with the weeks leading up to this week. So there is that little bit taking step back. Um, but I do find it's almost like a recharge of the batteries. So take a step back if you need, if you're getting that sign to slow up, to pull up, if you're being held back on something, just know that you need to stop and take a breath. And you'll always get these signs. They can come to you through um, just, you know, gut feelings that you just feel like, oh, all of a sudden things stop or you've had a big momentum with work and then all of a sudden there's a lull. Um, over here in Australia, it's winter, so people are a little bit, you know, a little bit less active. I, th- I find, you know, um, when it comes to the seasons, we do tend to, you know, get into that zone and it seems to to be, I think no matter where you are in the world, you know, it's like come spring, we feel rejuvenated. Come summer, we're full of, you know, spark. And then, you know, we've got those those seasons like at where we are at the moment here in Australia in winter where it's a nice time just to stop and, and regroup. So commit to doing things that are, you know, possibly lower energy or things that maybe you've had on hold that you need to address. I know for me, I've got a couple on the back burner that I need to actually uh, place, you know, prioritise some time with. So, you know, stepping back a little bit allows me to do that and, and make a plan so that I can move forward and still feel like I'm going forward, not backwards, but I'm not at the same pace that I was a few months ago. So I just wanted to share that because... You know, I've had I've quite a few people, um, you know, having that same conversation. So, again, like I do with all my shows every week, if I get a bit of a theme that I feel uh, is current and, you know, I'm being shown with my readings, uh, with just talking to friends and, and people in general, then I'm going to share that with you because when that, you know, when that is coming through quite powerful, it means that, you know, it's a message that needs to be shared. And don't forget that yourself. So if you get a message or you get the same kind of um, prompts, whether it might be talking to somebody and something comes out of that conversation where you go, hmm, that's, yes, I did get that sign the other day, then just always know that, you know, there's a reason for that. And, you know, it's there to, to show you that, okay, do I need to step back? All right, do I need to step up? You know, we're not all energetically exactly the same so for everyone it's different and that's why I like to share even on my page Australia Psychic Cowgirl I'll share cards or or inspiration when I'm shown that I need to because I know that it's going to resonate with you know quite a few people that follow follow me so you can do that too for yourself you know just be be aware of what's going on around you be aware of the messages and you know, just take time to notice the little things and that's when we get the signs because spirit will always give us signs and guidance and believe you me, they, you know, it's one of the most, probably the most popularest messages I get from spirit is why are they not listening to me? <laughs> why aren't they taking any notice? And that's because we get into our human brain where we overanalyze things and we become the the, you know, the skeptic, we get lots of signs and we go, that's a coincidence and we write it off. So I say start taking notice of the coincidences and the repeated messages. Just take notice. You don't have to be, you know, even to start with, even if you don't fully believe it, look at the message, go, okay, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. It's showing me I need to be doing something or not doing something. I'm going to listen to that and just see where it takes you. 
because the proof of the pudding will always be in the eating, I say. So I can sit here and tell you, I can share all of my experiences and, you know, I talk to many others that share their experiences with me, but there's nothing better than proving it to yourself. So just remember that, you know, because sometimes we tend to think that Are you there, Dave? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I dropped it. Yeah, that's okay. That was on my part. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're on solar power over here. So at the moment, it's been really, really, um, uh, really, really um, cloudy. So we've had to run our generator, which we don't do very often. But um, we did, I had, I put the dishwasher on and I went, I oh, will be right. And I did have a little, again, see, there's a sign. I had a sign, don't do it till after my show. And I went, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> so there you go. There's an example. I didn't listen. <laughs> All right, my first caller, Teresa from New Jersey in USA. Teresa, how are you? Hi, I'm here. <laughs> uh, how you going? Sorry, we just ran out of power over here in Australia. We're just in, at my house anyway. <laughs> how you going? Okay. Great. Um, did you want me to focus on something specific for you today or did you just want me to tune in for you? Um, yeah, what can you tell me about my finances? Okay. Um, all right. So this is to do with things coming in and going out. Um, can I say what happened with, there was a fair loss and I want to go back to, um, over the last 12 months, we've had, we've had unexpected okay. amounts of money having to come out. Does that make sense? Because it's like I'm showing you've had to release, um, like, hand over money. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like I want to say to you, it wasn't all your fault. No. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Um, there, there's an element with that, um, trusting the wrong people and also... Um, I feel like there's a real lesson in this for you with trusting your gut feeling because I feel like you had an inkling and you went against that and it's almost like now you're having to carry things that you really, you know, that debts I suppose or, or money, um, money being owed that isn't totally, um, you know, of your doing. So it's like don't, uh, how can I put this? It's like they're showing me I don't want you to carry that, um, the heavy responsibility when it hasn't been your fault or your undoing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So um, we need to change things up for you. So you basically, um, can I say, because I feel like they're showing me things have been sorted, but it's just now it's a real struggle for you to have to, you know, continue on with the way things are. It's almost like I'm up, my back's up against the wall and I need a light at the end of the tunnel. And there's something around with what you're doing changing so that we're bringing more money in. Okay. Okay. Um, now, with work at the moment, are you in transition or there's something that's showing me that there is more money around but it's not doing exactly what where you are at the moment? Are you looking around at something that's different to what you're currently doing? Um. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, there's a contract uh, around. I see you signing something. Do you work for yourself now, can I ask? Do I what? Do you work for yourself? Um, no, I'm, I, I'm retired. Okay. So th there's something around, an opportunity coming up where you can bring more money in. So I feel like, because it's like they're showing me there's something extra you could do to bring some more money in that would just tend to get you through this period. I feel like there's an interim with your finances, like there's a bit of a struggle, but yeah. there's, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So I don't feel this is not going to be ongoing for you. It's almost like I want to go the next couple of months, you know, uh, difficult to navigate, but after that things will be okay. So it's almost like also in that there's a ruling in your favour for this. Yeah. Okay, so I, w I want you to 
as hard as it is, I want you to keep positive because they're showing me that the, it, there's, a, there's, a, there's an answer that's coming and it's like it will be ruled in your favour um, and things will be put right. So in that, I want to go to, you know, going back to what I said originally, like thing, you've been put in this position through no fault of your own and it, it's like the truth's going to come out or that it's, things will be shown up for what they are and you won't be as accountable for everything and it will it will be like the weight will be lifted. So uh, I really want in that message for you to say keep the faith because it's, it's you know, there, there is a good outcome. Okay. Okay, so and don't lose sight of yeah. that. To add to it so that you and know I'm, that you're right on target, um, last, uh, last year my ex-husband passed away, which ended my alimony. And now I'm waiting for a uh, widow's pension to come through. Yeah. <laughs> so you were right. right on target for that. <laughs> well, I, I see within the next couple of months, don't worry, it will be turned around. And it's because it's almost like, you know, it, it's not fair what you've been like. Uh, and I, that's, you know, um, awful to have that happen and, and not to for you to have to just be hanging out in limbo. But there's definitely, it, it will be, it's just like they've been slow and the process has been dragged out longer than it, it's needed to. Okay. But you've got um, your, so you your see, husband's passed away. Do you see anybody in my future? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. Now, just connecting with your husband that's passed, it's like he won't let anyone in that's not up to standard, I want to say. So I feel like he's the sort of guy that, um, was protective of you in life and it's like he won't let somebody in that won't do look after you. I do see somebody stepping in and I feel like you, there'll be elements of him that will remind you of your husband that's passed. Okay. And he's laughing. He's going, the good bits though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good sense of humour, hasn't he? So I feel like I want to go to... Um, for you, it's yes. important to have fun and it's like um, he'll bring that fun in and he wants to, it's, he's really strong in, in letting you know that he will make sure that you're not on your own. And I feel like there was some conversation with what he's showing me there. Prior to him passing, you had that conversation and I, I feel like whether he said to you, don't worry, I'll make sure you're not on your own or, uh, you know, it's like he's just referring to the conversation the two of you had. Yes. So he's up there going, I, you know, I haven't forgotten that. <laughs> um, he does give you, he does give give you a lot of signs that he's around, and he really hates the fact that you've had to struggle. But there is a besides getting sorted, there is a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. So I don't know whether there's going to be more money come than what you think, but he's showing me there'll be a little surprise in there. Okay. All right, so it's like okay. I don't know whether there's going to be back pay or you know there's a little bit extra for for all that you've had to go through. There's something, some kind of compensation I see, and he's in control okay. of that. So he's up there going, "Don't worry, I got it sorted." Okay. All right. Were you the saver and he was the spender? Your, your husband that passed was he the one that spent the yes. money? Yes. Yeah, because it's like he's going now. I'm up here and I'll, I'll bring the money back down because <laughs> it's like you're pretty sensible with money, but I feel like he's going, I'll just throw it all back down to you. He's, he's easy come, easy go for him. <laughs> 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 but he does give you signs around and, you know, um, the, the cheeky, funny insights that I feel like he's showing me, it's like he, he definitely lets you know when he's around and and it's like you acknowledge that. So when you're having that conversation with him, he's listening. Okay. He's laughing. He's going okay. and cursing him. Were you, has there been times where you've gone, why did you leave me? Because I feel like he's laughing going, I heard her. Tell her I heard her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> So know that he's there around you and, you know, he really does. He, he will make sure this is right. So it's like he's saying, just trust me. 
and he's laughing because it'll be unexpected. So it might be you get a call one day and it's all sorted. Okay. All right. So okay. keep the faith. He's got your back. Thank you. My pleasure. So things will be good. And then once okay. the money comes through, go. Up, can you go on the holiday? He's saying. Say that again. Go on the holiday when the money comes through. I intend to. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, tell her, go on the holiday. Book it in. So you're going. So I honestly feel that. Please keep me posted, but I really feel like, it, you know, in the next eight weeks, things are going to flip around. It's not far away. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. My pleasure. Thank keep you. me posted. I'd love to hear. Thank you. All right. Okay. I better go on to my next caller. Thanks, Teresa. It's been lovely chatting to you. All right, my next caller, Candice in Denver, Colorado. Candice, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Am I pronouncing your name right? Yes, Candice. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> I like to try and be as close as I can. How are you today? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Good. Um, I just um, with connecting with your name because names are a really big thing for me. Um, to go with the relationship at the moment, there's something that why you've called in today in regards to a relationship. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Where do we start? This is. Can I? Um, it's quite a funny thing that's come through with spirit, but I feel like I want to go. It's complicated. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so it's, because I'm like going, what do you mean it's complicated? They're going, it's complicated. So there's there's a few <laughs> aspects, and I, I'm like going, okay, show me where we're at here, because it's almost like um, we've got a relationship that has barriers around it, and there's almost like I have to jump through hoops and step over. It's like I'm in an obstacle course. So it's like they're showing me this. Um, uh, I connect with the relationship, but it's like I have to do all these things to really get this across the line. And there's other influences around. So I feel like I don't know whether there's children from past relationships or there's family that are around as well. It's like I've got to, I've got to get over these hurdles. Everything above. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I feel like going to the relationship, it's like what I'm shown is there's a really strong connection with the two of you, but there's something around mm -hmm. um, with with your partner. It's something around I want to say, um, even though I want to go to your partner being older, ma maturity-wise they're not, and it's like we need to they need, almost need like a little bit of a shake to go, come on, we need you to man up here. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like there's that element is a big part of what you're feeling is missing or what you, you know, it's almost like you're like, we've got all this great stuff, but I need you to commit to this for then me to step up. And it's like, you're ready, but I just feel like I want to go to your partner being, um, it's almost like, it's like the connections there between the two of you, but it just needs to make a bit more effort. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, it's a, yeah, it's a little bit like, um, uh, okay, I want to go to, to with this, that we're going to the partner side of things, it's almost like he's never had to really own his stuff to step up. And I feel like there's an almost, I want to say around him, you know, like that movie Failure to Launch. So, a little bit like he's been, uh, I, I want to go to, I, I feel like they've been, Molly coddled and not actually um, almost I feel like a little bit held back to not step up and really own their stuff and you can see the brilliance underneath but it's like they need to really own their stuff and go okay um, you know to to commit to this and really to go ahead and move forward with this they need to own it and that's going to be a bit of bit of work Okay. And it's, it's something that you can't do. They have to do that. Um, but what I do want to say to you, it's like what they're showing me is 
um, with you, it's about be, the best thing for you to get them to do this is to step forward in what you need to be doing. So I feel like you've been held back a little bit with this, so you're not stepping into what, what you really want to be doing. And, and I feel like the way Spirit's showing me that is it's to do with your career. I'm held back. I'm not stepping into what I want because I'm feeling, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like my energy is a bit scattered. So I'm not doing what it is I want to do. And I, mm -hmm. what Spirit's showing me is you need to focus on what you need to do and where you're going. And it's almost like I want to say to you, I'm moving forward. And you know what? If he's going to come along, he get your shit together and you can come along. If not, I'm moving forward. And it's almost like by doing that, they're going to go, oh, my God, where's she gone? <laughs> <laughs> because what it is is by you stepping up and you empowering yourself to move forward, it kind of propels people to either do the same or fall off the radar and allow you to meet somebody that's in alignment with you. Do you see him? So he moved out. Do you see him coming back or no? Well, I what I see is it's like he needs to work out his stuff. And the more you sit there and wait for him to do that, the less inclined he's going to be. With you moving forward and going, you know what? Okay, you've moved out. I'm moving on with my life. It's almost like you're you're taking back your power, and that's going to be really mm -hmm. appealing to him. Because you gave up a lot okay. for him, I want to say. It's like they're showing me that you, you know, like you did a lot for him. So you kind of, mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes what happens with that is we enable people to not step up because we're too busy doing everything for them. And I just feel like I want to go to in the relationship, it was a little bit more you always doing things to make things right. You know, you were the one putting in the, the balance of the energy is like I'm 60, 40 you know, as to who's who's putting in. And it's, it's you know, I, I don't feel it's that he doesn't want to, but I feel like he needs to learn that lesson that, you know, if you want to be with somebody um, that's, that's powerful and unique and you have a lot of that in you, like just connecting with your energy, like you, you've got some great stuff with him, but you're putting a lot of your happiness or, on the relationship or the connection with him and I really want, within, within this message for you, it's about you stepping forward into what you want to be doing and not allowing someone else to influence where you're at and how you're feeling. And I know it's, it's easier said than done, and we all tend to go through stages of doing it, but you've got some really cool stuff to do. Mm -hmm. right, you're really talented mm -hmm. and yeah. you're really smart. I? You're really smart. Thank you. So, financially, you know, do you sometimes you being okay? I do if you step up into this. So can I ask, what are you doing now, like work-wise? I work, I work in the medical field. Okay. Because what is it you're wanting? Because it's like I feel like there's something you're wanting to specialise in or go and do a bit more study around. What, what is, are you aware of what that is? No, I, I, I'm kind of like up in the air with everything. Yeah. I All right. There's something around you. Sorry. I've touched a, a, in on a lot of stuff. Like I've done a lot of stuff in my life. Yeah. So, but there's something I feel like that if you were to, um, can I put it? There's something that, that you want to be doing or I feel like there's something that, that you've got a passion and that you, you're clever enough to do in an area where you're paid really well and I just feel like it's we just need to point you in that direction. Mm -hmm. So well, just I love look animals for that. And, yep. But I can't go forward, you know, it's fine. I'm stuck financially with two kids so I can't go forward on what I really was because it's, the money's not there for me to, you know, take the time out okay. to do more school. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I, I want to say don't lose sight of that though because sometimes we tend to 
we, you know, financially go, oh, God, how am I going to do this? And, and that is a concern. And it certainly has to be when you're a mum with children. But don't lose sight of that big picture for you with what pulls at you to what, where you want to be going. So I almost feel like there's going to be an opportunity. You're going to look around and find a, a way that you could study a bit more and get into that and be paid well for it. So please look into that because I feel like that's a really strong one that Spirit is showing me. You're very capable. Financially, you will be fine, but we need you to focus on stepping up to what it is that, you know, like even where you are now, okay, mm -hmm. um, even with what you're doing, there's something else you could be doing that brings in a bit more money so you don't have to worry about the finances. Okay. All right, so just... Sometimes it's just verbalising it to somebody or, you know, having that conversation and saying, I'm, you know, I'm on my own now. I've got my two children. I really need to be able to, you know, financially step forward. And someone then says, oh, how about you do this? Because I feel like there's someone around that will help you. Okay. All right. But it's, this is about you stepping up and being the best version mm -hmm. of you. And then it'll be up to him whether he steps up with you or someone else will step in. Because <laughs> it's like, when you step into your power, you'll have your choice. Mm -hmm. So look okay. at it for what it is. You know, sometimes as hard as it is, and it is really heartbreaking, um, to, to power forward, channel that energy into the focus of you being able to be the provider for your two children and you rocking this. And if he wants to step up, he, can, he has to rock it too. Okay. Uh, I don't see the door fully shut, so I feel like it's still open, but I do feel for you, we need you to step into your power first. Show him that you don't okay. need him. All right? And then you, you watch things okay. shift. <laughs> All right, I have to go now. I'm getting the wrap up. Thank you so much for calling in. And, you know, please, Candice, believe in yourself. You've got so much cool stuff within. Okay. Thank you. Okay? My pleasure. Love and blessings to you. Thank you so much, everybody, for calling in and connecting on the radio. I will see you same time, same place next week. Australia Psychic Cowgirls. See you. Woo!